Why is this not coming off? You may not remove the outfit. You gotta be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked... Early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. <sighs> what am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. <laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You gotta help me find my soulmate, because I am not going to be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl, I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him, eventually. <sighs> what the... Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach Movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey. What? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom. <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile! <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom! Oh, honey, smile! Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. 
Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom! But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please, just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, Mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name, so go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's gonna regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason, and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back. I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may now dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from now? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. Oh my gosh, girl, is this hottie with an accent your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe, you're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. Werewolf. Oh, no. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Me. Did you find out what your soulmate is yet? Mm -mm, not yet. Well, as soon as you find out, let me know. Hey, new girl, what's your species? What? She means what mystical creatures are your parents. Oh, well, my dad is a vampire and my mom is a siren. Your mom's a siren? Like a mermaid? That's so cool. Yeah, well, they're both divorced now, so it didn't really work out. <laughs> it's alright. Mine are too. Same here. <laughs> I heard Miss Scream is assigning us partners. Really? Yeah, hope we get each other. Yeah, me too. Draculina, you'll be partners with... Can you please just call me Lena? Okay, Lena. You'll be partners with Clauden. No way. I don't work with vampires. I'm not working with her. Well, I don't want to work with him either. If you don't work together, you'll fail the class. Is something bothering you, darling? You hardly touched your spaghetti and eyeballs. Nothing, just someone at school's been giving me a lot of trouble. Oh, Bell, why don't you just use your siren call to make them fall in love with you? Dad, you know I don't like doing that. Suit yourself. But don't forget to let me know about your soulmate. Right, I will. Claude and look, we can't fail this class, so we're gonna have to work together. Fine, but I can't have you coming over to my house. My father would disown me if he saw me working with you. Likewise, but you do realize that I'm only half vampire, right? You're also half siren, aren't you? Yeah. Wait a minute, how did you know that? Uh, lucky guess. Mm hmm. Anyways, why don't we just work at the old haunted house across the street? No one will spot us together there. 
No way, that place is infested with ghosts. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Too scared? I can't believe you convinced me to come to this haunted house. If you're too scared, you can leave. I'm not scared. Claudine, look behind you. <laughs> what? Got you. Oh, that's not funny. Don't even smile. You should have seen your face. <laughs> Okay, next question. What is the best way to scare a human? Is it A to... What was that? Uh-uh, cut it out. You can't prank me twice. I'm not kidding. What was that? How would I know what... Search the house. This place is probably crawling with them. Are those... Monster hunters, yeah. Come on, we gotta hide. They're here somewhere. I heard them. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I won't let them hurt you. <gasps> Claudin! I got one. What kind of creature do you think she is? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Claudin, can you hear me? What happened? You were hit with a tranquilizer. Wait, what? Where did they go? Hey, don't worry. I took care of the monster hunters. I used my siren call. What does that do again? Well, basically it makes anyone fall in love with me, and then from there they'll do whatever I say, so I told them to leave this place and to never come back. Whoa, you... you saved my life. I mean, you were gonna do the same for me. Lena, my soulmate is half vampire and half siren. Um, my soulmate actually says werewolf, so I guess that means that you and I are... We can't be together, Lena. Our parents will never allow it. Wait, speaking of parents, we've been gone for a really long time. Yeah, we better get back. But, Claudin, I'll tell my dad that we're soulmates if you tell yours. Uh, okay. Dad, there's something I need to... Honey! Mom? Mom? Surprise! I'm human for today. Isn't your mother just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? What did you do to dad? You know your father can be short with me. He wasn't gonna let me in, so I... So you used your siren call on him? Don't act like you don't do the same. I do not. Uh-huh. Anyways, what did you want to tell him? Well, I was gonna tell him that I found out my soulmate. Oh! Please tell me he's a handsome young merman. Not exactly. He's, uh... He's a werewolf. A werewolf? Baby, you know how your dad feels about those. I know, but I really like this guy. Does he feel the same about you? Mom, we're soulmates, of course. So we're your father and I, and look how we turned out. But, but nothing. You need to make sure he feels the same way before you tell your dad. Hey, Clodden. Hey. So, I don't really know how to ask you this, but, um, what's wrong? I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. Wait, what? I don't get it. At first they were okay with me dating you. Then all of a sudden they're telling me to stay away from you. Well, maybe if I go talk to them they'll change their mind. No, I, I think we better just keep our distance. Aw, baby, what's the matter? Claudine and I can't be together. There are plenty of young mermen for you in the sea. No, Dad, I don't want to date a mer- Wait a minute, Dad would never say something like that. You're controlling him still. Of course not! You don't want me to be with Claudin, do you? Baby, I... Did you make his parents hate me? No, I just went over there to talk to them. Mom. Look, it wasn't going to work out anyways. I'm saving you the trouble. I can't believe you. I'm telling him. Claudin, I can't talk to you. No, wait, there's something I have to... <laughs> Whoa, Lena, you alright? You okay? Yeah, sorry. I only get like this when I'm around garlic. Wait, really? Yeah, one of the many perks being half vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you some water. Thanks. So she does have a weakness. Told you. You two, I, I thought I- Got rid of us? Think again. You won't be able to sing this time. Let's go. Ow! Hurry up and tie her up. We gotta get out of here. I know, I'm almost done. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena! Hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena, hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving me. Of course. I mean, I'm just glad you're alright. I'm really glad we were able to work things out with our parents. Yeah, now that mine are out of the trance, they really like you, but not your mom. Yeah, she says she's sorry. She's back in the ocean now, though. It's okay. Parents can be a little crazy sometimes. You know, I heard werewolves are really bad kissers. Really? Why don't you find out for yourself? 
Three, two, one. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Let's reveal our marks. Okay, you go first. Okay. You got red. Ah, uh, phew. All right, my turn. Oh, shit. What? Just look at this mirror. <sighs> you got purple. I don't think this is a good idea. Shh, stay still. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look, who said being gifted is a bad thing? I mean, do we really need to change my mark? Yes, I heard rumors about what might happen to the gifted people, and it's really not good. This just in, all the purple marks will be taken in by the government for experimentation, as they could be a potential threat to normals and therefore need to be examined by professionals. Honey, let's go, we're late. Wh where are we going? Lizzie, it's time for the mark check. That's today? Yes, let's go. See your mark? It's smeared. Uh, yeah, it just appeared like that. Mm-hmm. We have a code 52. What's a code 52? No questions. Come with me. Just as I thought. You should have done a better job with the makeup. Well, actually, my friend did it. Right. Blame it all on your friend. But she did. Don't get her angry. We don't know what she's capable of. Fine. Prepare the scanner. Scanner? Quiet. No talking, please. Turn your head to the side and stay still. Scanning. Level 10. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? She must be the one. It can't be. Quick, someone get her a room and get her labeled now. What is going on and why is there a 10 on my neck? It's the danger level of your powers. Powers? What do you mean by powers? Everyone with a purple mark has been gifted with powers. You have them too. I do? Mm-hmm. Now prepare her for testing. Welcome to the testing room. We will now determine what power you have. There's been a mistake. I don't have powers. Of course you do. They just haven't been activated. Well, how does that happen? We found that it happens during a time of distress. Okay, now that's on. Let's try mind reading. This is ridiculous. Just say what number you think I'm thinking of. I don't know, uh, two. Wrong. Ow! So sorry, but this is part of the process. Ten. No, wrong again. No, please. I'm telling you guys, I don't have mind reading. Look, it's been half an hour. Probably should give her a break. No, we have to keep going. No, she needs to rest. Would both of you just be quiet? You choose between a pen or a teddy bear. I think I'm going to choose the pen because I heard that it's... No, pick the teddy bear. That pen is dangerous and you're not allowed to have it. Do you understand? Of course, stepmother. She never lets me do anything I want. I'm not wasting this opportunity. Legend says that whatever you draw with this pen will come to life. I can draw a teddy bear so when stepmother comes back, she won't get suspicious. I can't believe it worked. So, did you pick the bear? Mm-hmm. See? Oh, yes, I see. Well, that's a good girl. All right, well, I'll be back to check on you later. Wait, but today's my 18th birthday, and you promised that I could leave the palace after I turned 18. Did I say that? It's still too dangerous. Maybe next year. I knew she would never let me go outside. But at least now, I can draw myself a little companion. I've always wanted a puppy. Oh, she's perfect. <laughs> Brielle, open this door. Don't you ever block that door? What was that? You hiding something? What's this? No, wait! What is a puppy doing in your room? Um... I gave it to her, Your Majesty. I, uh, I bought it as a birthday gift for her. Is that so? Yes, I hope you don't mind. Well, I don't allow pets in my palace. Let me see her. No, wait, um, if you let me keep the puppy, I promise I won't ever ask to go outside again. Hmm. Do you really promise? I promise. All right, then. You can keep the little beast. Oh, you must be hungry. Don't worry. I'm going to draw you some food. I'm glad you liked your food. I also drew you a little toy. Hey, congrats on keeping the puppy. Thanks for covering for me. Of course. As your royal guard, it's my job to protect you, even if it's from your own stepmother. So where did the puppy come oh, from? Oh, that's, um, that's kind of a secret. Uh-huh. Well, I'll leave you alone. Wait, if you could just let me out of here for just a few minutes. Princess, you know I can't do that. If the queen caught you outside, she'd... I would be really quick. No, I'm sorry. I have orders. I, I can't. You have to stand here. This isn't fair. You know what? I bet if I use this magic pen to draw myself outside, I could escape stepmother forever.
I knew it. Give me that pen. You give me that magic pen. No, you are so controlling. I am done listening to you. Too bad this pen only works for no. you. No. <laughs> Let me show you how controlling I can be. You won't ever leave this tower. And this puppy is going away. Take this mutt to the pound. Please don't. I'll do anything. <laughs> really? Draw me young and beautiful, or else your puppy goes away forever. How's this? My wrinkles are gone. Draw me a crown. When you're done, draw me some more horses and a carriage. Let me see. Good. Now draw me more gold. But I just drew you that, and it's been two hours. But it's been two hours. Does it look like I care? Finally, I have two castles. All right, I guess it's time for a break. Give me that pen. Gregory, can I trust you to keep an eye on her? Yes, your majesty. Good, because if you lie to me one more time, I'll have you taken care of. Riel, wake up. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Setting you free. I took this from her. Draw her locked away, and yourself as the queen. Open this door. Hurry. I'm trying. I drew it. She's... she's gone. We're finally free from the evil queen. Wait, but I'm missing one more thing. Well, now you're queen and you've got your puppy, I think it's time for you to finally leave your tower and go outside. Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. <laughs> there is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir. Do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No! Grandma? She left me. My head. Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so... Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. 
I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba super base. Hey, yo, you see that nerd right there? I bet you 500 bucks you can't get her a date for the prom. 500? All right, bet, bro, you're on. Okay, but if you lose, you owe me 500. Hey, excuse me? Yeah? Please tell me you got two options today. Yeah, I did. But what's it to you? Just tell me what they are, please. I got the option to be smart or be beautiful, but I haven't picked one yet, because I can't decide. Pick to be beautiful. Excuse me? Uh, I just mean you're already the smartest girl here, so I would just pick to be beautiful if I were you. <laughs> you really think that I should? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Nothing's changed. Oh, man. Maybe the system's broken. I think it's still loading. But prom's in two days. Yeah, so? Listen, how would you like to go on a little shopping spree with me? You barely even talk to me. Why would you want to take me- I want to be your friend. Come on. Well, my mom does say I need to make more friends. So? Fine. But just so you know, my mom has installed a chip in the back of my head so she can track me wherever I go. Okay. I'm just saying in case you're trying to kidnap me. Uh-huh. Can I see those glasses? Sure, but they're a little busted. And now they're completely busted. Why would you- Chill, chill out. I'll get you something better. But I can't see without my glasses. And that's the bell. Follow me. What does your beauty option say? I would tell you what it said, but I can't see because you broke my glasses. I told you I'm gonna buy you contacts, but first we gotta fix that unibrow. I'm gonna pluck a few hairs, okay? No way. Come on, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm gonna make your eyebrows look snatched. It won't hurt too bad, right? Nah, we're just plucking a few little hairs. Ow! Okay, that was a big one. Please tell me you're done. I'm done, and it's looking good. Yikes, I can do eyebrows, but not hair. Time for a professional makeover. A makeover? Yeah, you know, like in those teen movies. It'll be fun. I don't know. Don't be a negative Nancy. Come on, we're going to the mall. I won't even be able to see where I'm going. Just hold my hand, and I'll guide you around. Hey, it's okay. You can trust me. I'll buy you contacts once we get there. Let's go. Those should be your prescription. Can you see? Yeah. Perfect. Now try these on. Remind me again why we're doing this. Uh, I'm just trying to be a good friend to you. That's all. Okay, that top is the one. Now we just gotta get you some hair and makeup to go with it. I will be your hair and makeup artist. Come with me. Are you ready to see her? Yes, ma'am. Let him see, honey. Holy shit. She looks, uh, beautiful. Now you have my number. Call me for prom. Bye. How do you feel? I feel... different. Hopefully it's a good different, because next we gotta get you a date to the prom. Why don't I just go with you? Oh, actually, I was planning on asking this other girl, so, uh... Right, of course. But hey, listen, you deserve better than me. You know how to flirt, right? Well, sure I do. Okay, let's go over a few things then. First off, guys kind of like it when girls, you know, play with their hair. Like this? Oh boy, we got some work to do. Okay, let's try a subtle lip bite. Uh, no, don't do that. Try again. You know what, never mind. Okay, pretend to ask me to prom. Go to prom with me. Ow. Okay, let's try asking and not grabbing so hard. Sorry. Hey, will you go to the prom with me? All right, that was perfect. If you stare at a guy like that with your eyes, he'll be <clears throat> mesmerized, yeah. I should probably get back home. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Jake, guess what? I got someone to go to the prom with me. Really? Who? Him. Sup, Jake? Bet you didn't see this coming. Here's your 500 bucks, Jake. I guess you won the bet. I didn't think I'd be the one taking her on a date, but damn, she's hot now. I mean, she was already kind of cute. And eh, well, I just want a hot date. After prom, I'm gonna dump her. What? She'll get over it. I'll talk to you later. Hey, can we talk for a second? What's up? I can't let you go to the prom with him. You can't go to prom with him. What? Why not? Don't mess with my prom date, Jake. I'm not gonna let you use her. Me? You're the one that's been using her. What is he talking about? I was just trying to help you look nice because... Because I made him a bet. A bet? Yep, that you couldn't get a date to the prom. Listen, I know that sounds bad, but... I thought you said you were helping me so you could be my friend. I... You were just using me for money. No. I'm sorry, I should Get away have... from me. And to think I actually liked... Layla. Never talk to me again. Forget them and forget the system. I was beautiful before this makeover and I'm beautiful now.
Maybe this option wasn't supposed to make me beautiful. It was supposed to show me that I already am. But I think for prom, maybe I won't wear the glasses. And you know what? I don't need any guy to go with. I'm going on my own. Hey, Layla. What you doing? Walking to my Uber. Uber? I told you I'm taking you to prom. And I told you I'm not going with you to prom anymore. I'm going alone. That's not gonna happen. Let go! Get in my car. Get adopted by a fireman or a billionaire? I think we should go with fireman because he's gonna keep us safe. Yeah, I think so too. Nope! Billionaire! Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. So, what are your names? I'm Margo. I'm Edith. And this is Agnes. Nice to meet you. Well, this is my home. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. This place is kind of creepy. It is. <sighs> There's nothing to watch. Did you hear that? I did. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I think it's coming from over there. There was definitely someone down there. I told you, Agnes, we should have picked the fireman. Excuse me, I need to speak with you. Me? Yes, you. I have a secret that you need to know. So, what's your secret? I have a secret lab, and I know you girls saw it. No, we didn't. Don't lie to me. I have cameras everywhere. I saw you. Creepy much? Okay, maybe we did. Well, I can't have you telling anyone about the lab. Uh-huh. Sounds like I should be calling CPS. No, I need you girls to help me with my plan. And what plan is that exactly? Go get your sisters and follow me. Whoa, what is that? Is that a laser? No. Who are you? I'm the doctor you saw in the lab. Well, what is this thing? My greatest achievement, a shrink ray. And we need human subjects to test it on. The doctor and I created this together. Wait we... a minute, so you're telling us that the only reason you adopted us was so you could use us as your lab rats? Not cool, dude. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that. Actually, we weren't asking. Run! Wait, wait! We don't want to try out your machine. Yeah! It's okay, girls. You don't have to try it if you don't want to. We don't? No. But, sir, we only adopted them because- That's enough, doctor. We're not forcing them to do anything. Thanks for taking us to get food, sir. Girls, please, you don't have to call me sir. Can we call you dad? Agnes? I was just asking. You can call me whatever you like. I feel like Darren likes us. I like him too. But that doctor, she creeps me out. Yeah, same. Good night, girls. Good, Good night, night, dad. Dad? <laughs> Hello. I need you to come with me. It's time for you to try out the machine. Shh. Would you stop knocking on the glass? You're not getting out of there. Now watch this. I'm going to demonstrate the shrink ray. Isn't that amazing? Now, to test it on you. Margo! Let her go! No, guys, run! Come here, girls. Stop! Doctor, what is going on? Dad, help us! Oh, be quiet. He's not even your real dad. Hey! That's enough. Let's see how you like it. Close your eyes, girls. No! What do you know? It works. Gary, you can't do this! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, for saving us. Of course. And I destroyed the machine. What? what? But I thought you said it was your greatest achievement. Actually, no, girls. My greatest achievement was adopting you. Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... Uh. It's been like an hour. Where is your mom? It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby, and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no. I, I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah. You know what? I think I am. It's not going to be easy. I know, Mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom! I'm winning! Oh, honey! How fun! <laughs> Hang on. I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. I... Hi. Can I help you? Hi. Yes. Actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. I let you hold my baby, and I want her back. Please, hold my baby. Ma'am, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, do you even hear yourself? It's been seven years. I waited hours for you to come back. And when you didn't, I decided to raise that baby by myself. As far as I'm concerned, she's my kid now. No, that is what you call kidnapping. That is not. It absolutely is. I am calling the police. What's wrong, Mom? Honey, 
Are you happy here with me? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? Well, there's no easy way to say this, but I'm not actually your real mom. What are you talking about? So, that's how I became your mom. But now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Now, your biological mom wants you back. I don't care if you're not my real mom. I want to stay with you. Police, open the door, please. Oh, no. Please don't let them take me. Honey? Shh. She's sleeping. Sorry. But what did the officer tell you? That I'm supposed to give her back to her biological mom tomorrow. What? That can't be right. I promised her that she could stay with me. Oh, don't you worry. We'll figure this out. Police. I'll get it. Miss Stevens? Yes? I'm here because we have reason to believe someone came to your house pretending to be an officer today. Him and his wife have been taken into custody. Wait, so this means that I can keep her? Your daughter? Yes, absolutely. We actually believe they were trying to kidnap her. Honey, wake up. You don't have to worry anymore. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, come here. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny... Stop! What the heck, Stacy? <laughs> Girl, look up. I just saved your life. They banned Christmas music. This is ridiculous. I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Jingle bell, jingle bell, Who is that? Bell, it's Mr. Smith. He's singing Jingle Bells. He has his oh, AirPods in. Mr. Smith, ride. stop! One horse open. <laughs> no. Sweetheart, you got a smile. It's picture day. Come on. I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh. Not today. Ew! You got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh, no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ma'am, you do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! So glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks, I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. Someone is seriously out to get me. Oh, gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry, did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet. And here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. I oh! am not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wear a- This way, let's go. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. Oh. I am not taking this off. Help me hide, come on. Please, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wear a- This way, let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually a great idea. Right? <laughs> okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know, your hands are kind of shaky, so... Jake, I'm fine, just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake! I'm kidding, chill. Here, take the... I'm safe! <sighs> but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um... Why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop, stop looking. Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because... that's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know, this is a really bad one. Emergency! Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency! Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. 
My dad's in charge of the system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it's addressed? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh... Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe... This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Sit in the elimination chair and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me when I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops. Now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay. Just choose to save yourself. No, Dad. I'm not going to make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. Oh, Dad, don't! Please, please wait. You must learn, son, to never put a woman first in your relationship. What the? Real interesting philosophy you have about relationships. It's no wonder ours ended in divorce. Mom, what the hell do you think you're doing? Banning something that should actually be illegal. Goodbye, goon number one, and goodbye, goon number two. That's for taking my son away from me. Mom, you, you just killed Dad. I know, honey. It had to be done. Hey, sweetheart, open your eyes. We have to get out of here. Come on, you can trust me. Oh, thanks. This way. Where are we? The room with the deactivation button. What? Well, what are you waiting for? Press it! No, whoever presses the button dies. Mom, I'll press it. Jake, no, please. The system has to be stopped. You're right, but not by you. No, no. Mom! I love you. Oh. Mom? No, Mom. The system's down. She saved everyone. My parents, they're, they're both gone. Jake, I'm so sorry. <sighs> promise. Promise you won't ever leave me. Jake, I promise. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, she, she would have wanted us to be happy. We have to run. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, are you okay? Yeah. From now on, we're gonna stick together, right? Always. I'm so glad I have you. Me too. There's something I've been meaning to do. Girls, meet the newest member of our organization. This is number 98. It's time for you to receive your mark. My mark? Mm-hmm. Every girl here has one. Scanning complete category. Red. What does that mean? You are one of the special ones. Now hold out your wrist. This is how that is the mark of the assassin, my dear. Now go get ready for training. Some assassin you are can't even take a punch. Looks like you knocked her unconscious. Great job, 98. Hey, what you did back there with 23? I kind of went too hard on her, didn't I? Actually, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm 52, by the way. I'm 98. This is how Good work. This is your final test. You are to eliminate the subject. Bring it out. Your mark doesn't allow for any weaknesses. What are you waiting for, 98? Take the shot. Aye. What is our motto? No attachments, no weaknesses. That's right. And you've worked very hard to get here. So don't blow it. I can't. <laughs> Idiot. Show me your mark. That's the assassin's mark. Not a coward. Now pick up your weapon. Prove to me you have what it takes. What are you- Hey, it's okay. I got you. Oh, you chose that dog over me! 98? What's going on? I'm escaping this place. Come with me. Is that a dog? 
Yeah, I'm saving it. Come on, we have to go now. I can't. I have the mark of a technophile. I'm not as agile as you. I can't make it out of here. 52, that's not true. We can make it if we... Attention all girls. 98 has gone rogue. She must be stopped by any means necessary. I think I know a way you can escape. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I got the back gate open, but you gotta run fast. Okay. It's 98. Get her! <laughs> hey, we made it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm really gonna miss... <sighs> Excuse me. Do you need some help? Yes. I sort of ran away from home. Oh, darling. Uh, do you need somewhere to stay? Okay, well, it's not safe here for you and your little pup. Why don't you come with me? Come on, honey. Let me help you up. So, darling, what happened to you? Um, I'd rather not talk about it, if that's okay. Oh, uh, I see. Wait, what's that on your wrist? Oh, it's just, uh, something I drew on myself. Darling, I prepared a bed for you and your little pup. You better get some rest. Thank you so much. I'm happy to help. Morning. Your little pup was looking for you. Do you want me to call your parents? No, I, I don't have parents. Oh, are you a foster child? I was. That mark on your wrist, does that have anything to do with where you came from? Darling, I want you to know that you can trust me. But if I'm going to let you stay in my house, I need to know more about you. Okay. And the next thing I know, I wake up and I can't remember my name. Instead, they gave me a number. 98. Oh, darling, that's awful. Listen, you can stay here as long as you like. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No child should have to go through that. Now, let me get you cleaned up, all right? Because that sure is a pretty bad cut you got there. All right, I'm going to go get you two some food. I'll be back. Hey, girl, calm down. 98. 52. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I found you. I escaped. Hey, Curl, relax. She's a friend. Listen, a nice lady let me stay here, and I'm pretty sure she'll let you stay here, too. Really? Where is she? Oh, she's at the store. Good. I mean, good for you, 98. I'm glad you found help. Wait, what was that? What? That sound. Do it now. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you on comms with the director? Uh, you weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> stay back. <laughs> Shut up. Go get help. No, hey, get back here. Sorry, 98. Yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm bringing her now. She's more skilled than I thought. We just need to make her more compliant. You must comply. No, no. You will comply. You must. Okay, I think that's enough time. Now, tell me your mission, 98. To eliminate the dog. And what else? And get rid of the woman who took me in. I'm glad you understand, because there's no room for air. So you're going to do exactly what I say. Remember, girls, no using your powers at school. Don't worry, Professor. I'll make sure everything goes fine. I'm so excited for our first day of high school. Yeah, because being stuck in a building for eight hours is going to be so much fun. Everyone, please welcome our new students, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. Um, who picked out your names? <laughs> <laughs> the professor named us. Who? Oh, she means our dad. He's a scientist. Oh, wow. Very interesting. What a bunch of freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Way to keep our cover, Bubbles. Sorry. It's okay, Bubbles. So, you three are sisters? Yeah, why? How come you guys look nothing alike? We're all adopted. Yikes, so you're not really sisters then? Of course we are. Of course we are. Ugh, your voice is so annoying. Why don't you say that again? <gasps> what the? I'm telling you, we saw her. Her eyes were red. I think you guys have seen too many scary movies. I agree. Yeah, me have laser eyes. Come on. We're telling the truth. They are freaks. Ladies, that is enough. You two have detention for lying. What? We are so getting you back. Thanks for trying to protect me, Blossom. Of course, nobody bullies my sister. Blossom, do you realize what you've done? Our cover is officially blown. No, it's not. The principal didn't even believe them. But Blossom, look, there's a camera up there. Uh-oh, do you think they could have recorded me using my powers? Let's hope not. Don't worry, I'll just destroy the camera. Bubbles, no! Don't! What? Now the camera's destroyed. So there was a fire at school today, hmm? You girls wouldn't have anything to do with that now, would you? We can get a 
adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo, he's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie, let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry, I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey boss, he's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school, I want you to uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hon. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it. And you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh, what the- Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna tell him anything. Ow! Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No! Hey kid, everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's gonna be alright. Let's go this way. No! We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are gonna pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop it! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your- Yes. I promise, I'm always gonna protect you. See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be- Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. Just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. 
Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather from middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not going to freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Oh, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not going to be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, X equals two and Y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings. Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? <sighs> Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally, come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually going to put some powder on your face because you're, like, really oily. So, about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have, like, the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her. I just know it. Love meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I... Stop calling her. She's not going to answer. Heather, please, can you just call me back? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I... Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away. For some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay? And I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check BF's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me? Sure. Really? Because I'm new here and, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date? Okay. Okay, <laughs> see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Ah! <laughs> ah! I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. Soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. 
My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough, I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute, I like it. Okay, okay, we have to go to the party now. Hey Brie, nice dress. Thanks. <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I'm <coughs> I better go. Oh. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious. You could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am going to get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, it must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand because I... Ah, uh, you got me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. Ugh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's gonna do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now... There's no one left to save you. you. Know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand. What do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were going to use you as bait to get to him. But we're going to make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be... Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. He's still alive, so I'm moving you to a different little- Oh, oh, not today. Oh. Hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand? Huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy? <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's, it's worth a, a shot. Day. Sweet. Whoa, it totally worked! And now, it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight, and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little. <laughs> hey, Mom, what's this? It shows you what your soulmate is up to, honey. What does it say? It says that, um, he wants to use the bathroom. Not funny, you have to give him permission. I'm sorry, okay, I hope he hasn't been waiting too long. He's asking for permission to go to school now? That could mean that we're the same age and maybe we'll even bump into each other. What's he been wanting to do? Just the normal stuff, like go to school and use the bathroom. Ooh, what's he asking permission for? Um, he wants to go on a hike. 
He keeps asking me this over and over again. You are not kidnapping someone. Stop that. Were you just talking about your soulmate? <laughs> no. That's it. No more interacting with him. But mom... I said no. He sounds dangerous. This isn't fair. He was probably just kidding. He wants to come inside my house? I mean, sure. Wait, how does he know where I live? Darling, please let us see your mark. Oh. She has a diamond. Honey, what billion is? If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad. It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart, and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is red gem. You could talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just gonna grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get us food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I could sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze! Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the... You're a diamond, Mark? I want to help you. You... you do? Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray-painted black. Ugh, dang it. Wait, how did you know that? It says Nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm going to take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but your mark... Huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're going to use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh-huh. Just stay still for me. Why? Why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green marks. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm going to give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not going to use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Oh, shoot. Darling. Honey, where are you? Go hide in my closet right now. On, get in my closet. Wait, how long am I gonna have to be in here? I don't know, but they can't see you with a green mark. But I'm sorry, just shh. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the marks, okay? Oh, no, guys, I really don't need to. Ah! Take the chart, and remember what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No. That's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food, or maybe even some shelter? Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not gonna waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Hey, after that, I think it's probably best I go. No, wait. I want to help you guys still. My parents will never know. Thanks again for letting my mom and I stay here. We really appreciate it. You're such a beautiful, kind young girl. I wish my mom was like you. I'm sure she loves you very... Well, well, what do we have mom, here? Mom, Dad, you guys weren't supposed to be back until... Tomorrow. Yeah, we got back early. I want these green marks out of my house right now. No, if they leave, then I leave too, because they're good people and they have nowhere else to go. Them being poor is not our problem, and you're not going to leave. I will. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave. Huh. What's yours? You own nothing. If you leave, your mark will turn green and you'll become poor. Then so be it. You know, there's more to life than just being rich or poor. At the end of the day, it's what makes you happy, and it's about helping others. And you guys were hardly ever here for me anyways. And when you were, I wish that you weren't. Oh, honey. Just stop. Because these people have been nicer to me in the one month that they've been here than you guys have ever been. And I realize it's better to be poor and happy than to be rich and miserable. Come on, guys. Let's go. 
We didn't mean to make you give up your mark. You don't deserve to be out here in the rain. We're sorry. Don't be. I've been wanting to tell them that for a while anyways. It's not even that bad out here. It's just a little rain. <gasps> and a lot of thunder. Darling, are you out here? Mom? Dad? Oh, honey, there you are. Come on, all of you. Come in the car. Please hurry. I think we're good. Darling, please, what you said about the money. You're right. We should help others, and we're going to be different from now on. Do you promise? We promise. And we have more than enough room for your friends in our mansion. Are you guys okay with going back to live with me and my parents? If you're okay with it, then we're okay with it. Exactly. We did enjoy living there after all. If they make any weird moves, we can get out of there. Yeah, gotcha. But right now, what I think we all should do is get out of this rain. Agreed. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or, or I'm going to scream. Okay, all right. It's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run... <sighs> Todd... How dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Let me go, you jerks. Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble. Oh, yes, Todd, get them. Oh. Oh. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble. Oh. Yes, Todd, get them. Oh. Oh. And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. 
Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So, once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand. Don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bi- Stop. Hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Uh. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soulmate's the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So, what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally, just say it, my gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> hmm, pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding! Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate, and he can break my curse. What? How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us. We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came, and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant, and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her, you are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your Highness! Hi! Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is. Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your Highness... You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. So you need help breaking your curse? What? Alina, listen to me. You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... that hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to... Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. Four million dollars or a stick? Oh, look at me. I'm gonna go choose the stick. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Kit. Stick selected. Whoa, that's a cool stick. You're welcome. That's it. Come here. Mom! Leah, why are you chasing her? Because she made me pick a freaking stick over four million dollars. Leah, don't be so hard on her. She's only eight. Did you hear what I just said? You literally always side with her. I wish you were my age so you could understand how I feel. Wish granted. Hey girls, want to go to a party tonight? Mommy? Mom? Hey, who are you calling a mom? <laughs> Did I just turn her into a teenager? 
I think this stick is actually a magic wand. Yeah, you think? Turn her back. Okay, okay. I wish my mom was back. Ugh. Who are you? I am your mother, and I have been looking for you too. You are my daughters. She's trying to trick us. I wish for my real mom to come back. Wish already granted. What? This thing must be broken. Say mom's name. Good idea. I wish for Laura Jones to reappear and for this creepy woman to disappear. No, wait! Girls? Mom! What happened? Leah made you disappear, and a mean lady came. Yeah, it turns out this stick is actually a magic wand, so... Sorry. Girls, that mean lady was actually your mom. What? what? Yes, I'm actually your big sister, and I took you guys away from her when you were little and raised you both. No, I I would have remembered that. No, you wouldn't, because I also got a wand for my birthday, and I erased your memories of her. You've been lying to us. It was for your protection. She was horrible. No, I don't trust you. I wish for a real mom, too. Stop! I wish Leah was frozen. <gasps> Unfreeze her! I just need to take her wand. I wish for her to unfreeze. Whoa, what the... I'm sorry, Leah. This is for your own good. I wish for her to forget what just happened. No! Mom, what happened? Nothing. You just need to rest. No, she's lying! She made you forget- I wish for Kit to fall asleep. <sighs> Why would you do that? I... Is that my wand? No, Leah! <sighs> Why can't I remember anything? Because you, um... I wish to remember everything I forgot. No! <laughs> You're my big sister? Oh my gosh, Kit. I wish for Kit to wake up. Whoa, that was really trippy. I'm taking your wand. No! Ugh! Kit, give it back! I wish for you to tell us the truth. Was our mom really evil? Yeah, she was. But I shouldn't have erased your memories. I'm sorry. We, we forgive, forgive you. you. Here's your wand back, but I accidentally broke it a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. What? My wand! I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is gonna be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son because he's super cute. <gasps> who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Hey, I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No. Have you? Nope. And I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of. Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly? Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait. I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. You alright? Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is gonna be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. 
You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Wanna see something cool? Sure. It's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing? Dad? We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving. And he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad, why are you guys looking at me like that? Because, for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. Ho, ho. Frosts are nothing but bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. Sweet, because I've already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story, plus <laughs> I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky! Sorry, it was the only way, but come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's going to lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. Mom, what are these? Oh, honey, those are magic Easter cookies. Whatever cookie you choose to eat will give you a special power. It's a tough choice, but I think I gotta go with the bunny because it's so cute. Your magic bunny will now appear. It's a cute little bunny, and it's so soft, but what does it do? Well, guess I'm gonna find out. And what better place to discover this thing's power than at this Easter party that my mom is forcing me to go to? Hey, nice to see you. That's a cute rabbit. Thanks, I, um, I got it as a gift. Oh, okay, cool. He's in love with you. So there's this concert coming up and I was wondering- Will you just excuse me for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I didn't expect this thing to talk to me. Honey! She's in love with your gardener. So, did you find out what the bunny's power does? No, no, I didn't. I need to go now. Okay, so I guess this little bunny tells me who people are in love with. My mom is in love with the gardener, and my best friend is in love with me. Hey, sweetie. Oh, hey, Dad. I've been looking for you. He's in love with your teacher. I found your first grade teacher here. Summer, is that you? Have a rich mom or a rich dad? Well, my dad left when I was eight, so I think we gotta go with Rich Dad. Especially because we need the money. That must be him. Hello. Dad? Huh? No offense, but I expected you to be dressed a little nicer than that. Gee, maybe it's because I'm the postman, not your dad. Sorry. I wonder what's in here. Holy... Mom. What? What is it, honey? I found you a new husband, and we're gonna be set for life. Did you sign me up for a dating show? No, Mom, I picked a rich dad, and just look in this envelope. There's $2,000 in here. I know. Isn't this great, Mom? I'm gonna have a dad again. Oh, honey. This letter shows he's a billionaire. He's never gonna visit us. I bet you that's him. Dad! We're looking for the daughter of a billionaire. Um, look, I can't see or I can't say bad words until I meet my soulmate. Guess you're going blind. What? Why? Oh, honey, you have a potty mouth. I do not. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm gonna prove to you that I can live without cussing. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Surprise attack! Ow! Mother father that hurt! <laughs> mother father? Why'd you say that? Because I can't cuss, dipshiz. I'm telling mom you're trying to say bad Wait, words. Wait, if you don't tell her, I'll uh, give you my favorite teddy bear. Mm, I don't know. Well, I do like that teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Mom! Frick you! Whoops. <laughs> you little witch! <laughs> witch? Is that the best insult you can do? I can't cuss. Aw, can poor baby not cuss until she meets her soulmate? Oh, fudge off. 
Dude, she sounds like she's straight out of Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ow. Oh, damn it. I am so sorry. It's okay. Ah. Wait a minute. I just said a bad word. Yeah, so? Well, I'm not allowed to say bad words until I meet my... Soulmate. Share my soulmate's hair color or share my soulmate's eye color. I mean, I just got my highlights done and I don't really want to change it, so I think I'm going to share his eye color. Here goes nothing. Oh, honey, have you looked in the mirror? No, I... <gasps> I thought they were going to give me his eye color, not just one of his eye colors. Hey girl, why are you wearing sunglasses inside? No reason. Then why won't you look me in the eyes? Come on girl, we're besties, we're supposed to tell each other everything. Alright, you caught me, it's because I look like this, okay? Do you have any idea how I can get my eyes back to normal? I'm pretty sure you have to meet your soulmate. But that could take literally forever, I'm just going to keep these on for now. Hey! I am so sorry, it's really hard to see with these on, but having said that, you actually have really pretty eyes. Thank you. You have really nice brown eyes too. Well thanks, but one is literally green right now. <laughs> uh, no it's not. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye mom, I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove that. You gotta outfit. be kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, mean girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> for the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot, but... I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Coffee mushrooms. Hi, dear I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 please don't cry. Look, there's my autograph. No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, 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 she just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut, that's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But I don't even know what his name is or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. Mate. Oh, no, he did it. Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm going to go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously... Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. 
I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger- Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. She look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Well, she look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Well, she look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Well, she look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Well, she look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Well, she look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Well, she look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Well, she look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. 
Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously. Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- th Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Don't you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. 
No, Blair, that's- the Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger- Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort- Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. Why you look ugly? Stay here, I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad, I'm- Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And who's that mark with concealer? Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. I know. It's ugly. Just ignore it. No, Blair, that's- Yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? This mark. But- I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Hey, my friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of- Soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so, um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's gonna be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye-bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough. I'll try it on. All right, you know what? This dress is pretty cute. I like it. Okay, okay, we have to go to the party now. Hey, Brie, nice dress. Thanks. <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey. Relax, beautiful. I... I better go. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious, you could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am gonna get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh! Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, it must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand, because I... Ah, uh, it got me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Ugh. Oh. <sighs> You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's gonna do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now, there's no one left to save you. You know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand, what do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were gonna use you as bait to get to him. But we're gonna make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be- Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. 
He's still alive, so I'm moving you to a different little- oh, oh, not today. Oh. Hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand? Huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy? <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's, it's worth a, a shot. Day. Sweet. It's a new Whoa, it totally worked. And now, it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight, and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little. 